The Blue Chip All Star Academy is brought to you in association with Blue Chip Ulsa Cool Balancer. director and producer of this brilliant show, Lizzie Greenwood Hughes. Thanks for talking to us. Um, we've just seen it, so I've got to ask, how do you think it went? Well, everyone clapped at the end. I'm very <laughs> relieved. And Brian, Pammy's husband, was really pleased. So what more do I want? And Blue Chip were happy. So no, I, I just, yeah, I was actually. Because you never get to see, you know, if you're just making TV, you never get to see it on a big screen. And I was much more nervous than I would have been if I was presenting it. I mean, you looked amazing. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased actually. And the contestants, they all laughed, they all joked. There's no one, no one's come after you and chased you out of the door, have no, they? But I did pat Josh on the shoulder when they were being rude about Pat, saying, it does get better. <laughs> um, Josh, yeah, it's like, it does get better, Josh, it does get better. I felt quite bad. And when they were talking about Kelly being opinionated, I thought, oh dear, I feel quite, feel quite guilty, but. It all makes good television though, Lizzie. They've got, you couldn't just be nice. And that's what people have got to look forward to in this show. It's funny, but at the same time, we haven't just been nice to the contestants. They have actually been put through their paces. And it was a real show, really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, we're much nicer than they are in The Apprentice, <laughs> which is kind of what the show is loosely based around, I suppose. Um, no, it, it was just real. And we were so lucky because I think all eight of them were great. <laughs> on camera they all look amazing they all i never had to prompt anyone for a comment they they went into and out of the blue diary room themselves without me having to bother them didn't always switch the light on but next time i'll put a sign um yeah they were just lovely and we 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 lucked out actually they were great and you had a few celebrities that um, people have got to look forward to coming in, but also a lot of product placement that went into this show. First of all, that's quite a tough undertaking to make sure everything gets in, but it was great to have such brands on board. It was, and it was all quality stuff. So no one minded if we'd given them some rubbish stuff, they wouldn't have wanted to use it. But we didn't have that problem because they were using it and wearing it. So we, we filmed it. And you've gone for some quite dramatic shots. There's a lot of walking shots, looking down the camera. I mean, it's, it's good. <laughs> that was our apprentice shot, the one where they're walking straight down the barrel. And I can't use the words, actually, that Phoebe used for her resting something face as she sort of walked towards, but you can fill in the gap. Yeah, they were, they were just amazing. And they look great, those shots. And finally, um, Talent School of Exhortation. We used Pammy and Charlie Hutton. Um, I, think, I think you can agree, we couldn't have chosen better people to take part or a better venue. No, and you know, it's funny because we had a number, as you know, when we had that first meeting about the show there were a number of people and suddenly it just came to me one day and I phoned up Victoria whose idea it was for the show and uh, Jonathan at Horse and Country said I've got it it's got to be Pammy it's got to be Pammy and they were like Pammy what do you well actually Victoria knew who Pammy was but I don't think Jonathan knew who she was and I said it's Pammy Hutton she would be perfect she won't hold back she'll say what she thinks she's a font of all knowledge most people know her um, so that was already kind of in my mind and I was once I'd said that that was it I was determined to have Pammy but then when she introduced Charlie I didn't know him I and mean, obviously I'd heard of him but I didn't I'd never met him and he's kind of this lovely balance with Pammy and they they're funny yeah. and they work together he's handsome he's handsome he's easy on the eye <laughs> which is always a bonus um yeah and they, they were just perfect and and Emma Harford at, pa at Talland, we couldn't have done it without her. Yeah. She was amazing. I, if I could have her as my location contact for every job I ever do, I would, <laughs> I would die happy. She was nothing was too much trouble, and and the the, the um, stables manager, yeah, they were all amazing. And you were brilliant as well. I'm not, I'm directed by this lady and produced by this lady. Honestly, it was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. It's such a credit to you, the show. It's brilliant. Can't wait to see the rest of the series. Thanks so much. And honestly, thank you for working with me. It was brilliant fun. I just hope everyone enjoys it. I'm and sure you were brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> the Blue Chip All-Star Academy is brought to you in association with Blue Chip Ulcer Cool Balancer.